Sheriff Allen of Clayton County, Georgia is cracking down on corruption at the Clayton County Jail in what's being called Operation You Tried It. This woman here was the latest to be arrested. We're going to get into those details, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Here's the message of the day from Clayton County, Georgia. You tried it. If you're watching from Georgia, drop GA below in the comments. Who is Desiree Lowry? To the world, she presented herself as a quote, woman with a savage A attitude. Desiree Lowry, a 27-year-old resident of Decatur, Georgia, originally from Augusta, Georgia. Shout out to Augusta. On June 9th, 2023, she was really excited about getting a new job. She had recently applied for a job with the Clayton County Sheriff's Office and got word that she was selected for the position. She posted a screenshot of the email they sent her along with this caption. She said, and like that, starting off $45,000, God is good. Then she went on to quote Lotto, rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Rip me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Desiree was proud and told her family friends that she would start working on June 12th. She had a man before she started working there at the jail. Not sure if they're still together or what exactly happened if they're not, but let's just say she didn't talk about him much after she got behind the wall with those Clayton County inmates. She was loving it there. Desiree was around the crowd that she was attracted to. Why would I say that? Well, look at this. August 2023, nearly 60 days after being on board at the job, she posted this. I think my problem is I want a romantic godly hood in word. And the caption, tall, tatted, dark skin, Lord have mercy. And while she was actively working as an officer, she was still posting thirst traps like this. No pants, looking like a masculine thought bucket sitting up there trying to show off her thought pocket. She should have been punished for that, Sheriff Allen, but I digress. Luckily, Desiree made it 90 days, but couldn't survive on the job for a full four months. She was getting very close to the 120-day mark when she went to work on an October day. The 27-year-old entered the building at the Clayton County Jail in Jonesboro, Georgia. Just one problem, though. She was stopped by a supervisor who found contraband on her. She was attempting to smuggle multiple items from one or more of the following categories, firearms, illegal substances, or alcohol. The sheriff's office did not release which of these items exactly or the combination of items. When she was busted by a supervisor, she got nervous and tried to run away from the jail, not sure how she thought she could really get away. Like genius, you work there. They already have all of your information, from your personal information to your fingerprints. So yeah, Desiree was arrested and terminated right away. And a Clayton County Correctional Officer found herself on the other side of the law this afternoon after she was accused of trying to enter the jail with contraband. Sheriff LaVon Allen says a supervisor stopped her. She was fired, then arrested Sunday. She now faces four felony charges. And this is actually the latest employee arrested in Operation You Tried It. The sheriff says since taking office, he's arrested seven employees or contractors at the sheriff's office as he works to crack down on crime inside the jail. Over a couple of days, Desiree was charged with eight charges. She went before a judge for the initial four on October 8th. So next is Lowry. We're gonna do her last. Who? Lowry. Why? Last of the females. No, I'm saying why do her last? She's right here. I can knock her out real quick. Because these men know her, they worked with her, they're trying to give her special treatment. So no, Miss Lady, come out there with the rest of them, you're not special. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and do this one real quick, it won't take long. Where's she at? She's on her way, Your Honor. She's on her way up. Okay. While Lowry's on her way, I'll sit She's right here. She's right here. Oh, okay. All right, Miss Lowry? I'm going. All right, Miss Lowry, you are charged with one uh, count of giving uh, inmates uh, providing prohibited items to inmates. That is a felony, uh, criminal attempt, uh, conspiracy felony, and crossing the guard lines felony. I am going to grant a bond on the first charge of the prohibited items. The bond is five thousand. The other two charges is twenty five hundred dollars each. So your total bond is ten thousand dollars. You also have a stay away from 9157 Terra Boulevard, Jonesboro, Georgia, 30236, which is the Clayton County Sheriff's Office. So do not st step back on that property, OK? 
Okay. Um, you do have the right to hire your own attorney or be considered for a court appointed attorney. What would you like to do? Uh, you got to speak up for me. I don't know. That's my first time going through this. I don't know. Okay. Well, you could either A, hire an attorney. Uh, or B, I can look at your application and consider you for a court appointed attorney. Uh, either way, it, you can change your mind later on. So if you want a court appointed attorney and you qualify, then you can change your mind later on down the road, but you don't need to leave today without somebody getting your paperwork uh, on your case. So do you want to hire someone or do you want to be considered for a court appointed? I guess a court appointed. Okay. All right. I will grant that request. Do you have any questions? Um, what happens once I pay the bond? As long as you don't have any other charges, you're, you're good to go and then you'll get your next court date in the mail. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. All right, anything else? All right, good luck to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That was her first appearance on October 8th, but she wasn't able to be released as you heard the judge in that clip. He told her that she would only be released if she didn't have any additional charges. Well, while she was in custody, they charged her with four more. That's why she had to wait until October 10th to go before this judge for the additional charges. I'm ready when you're all on. Larry Desiree. Ma'am, you've been charged with three counts of giving inmates guns, drugs, or alcohol, or a, other illegal contraband. For each of those counts, your bond is $5,000. And you're also charged with use or possession of drug-related objects. Your bond is $1,000. The total amount of your bond is $16,000. You do qualify for a public defender, and your preliminary hearing on these charges is November 8th. 8 30 a.m. Okay. Desiree was released late last night, October 10th at 10 45 p.m. She was in jail for over three days. She went from quoting Clayton County's lotto, talking about ripping her out the plastic and acting brand new, to trading out her officer uniform for a jailhouse jumpsuit. And she's not the only one, she's lucky number seven the seventh arrest this year involving jail employees as a part of Operation You Tried It or Operation Clean House. That's been the sheriff's mission this year since he was elected taking over after the previous sheriff, Sheriff Hill, who was hauled off to federal prison less than 180 days ago. It was a lot of corruption here starting from the top with the old sheriff. Now the new sheriff, he's cleaning house. He said he would rather have one good deputy versus 100 crooked ones. You know, I like that Sheriff Allen is establishing order around there and they're getting rid of the ones who shouldn't be there. I'm here for it. Now, what I'll never agree with is these women risking their jobs, their salary, their benefits, their credentials. They even had to fire nurses for the same thing. And they got locked up too, risking their clean records, their livelihood, their freedom. Some of these women even have children. They're risking all of that for attention from criminals. She said it herself. She wanted a tall, dark, tatted hood inward. When she wrote that, she was already swimming in all the recent attention that she was getting at her new job around all those men. Let's be honest, the men's jail or prison is a playground for insecure women like this. They go there, they have relations with these men, and they're not going around sneaking contraband for money. No, that's what most people would think. They're not motivated by money. They're motivated by attention. And they love Pookie. From the most educated, to your Ronald McDonald Red Velvets. That's what they like. That's why when they're angry and bitter and hate black men, go ahead and dive deeper. See what type of black men they're dealing with. They choose to deal with Pookie. I mean, look at Nicki Minaj, the most successful female rap artist with millions of dollars, and she chose a man on the SO list. If you missed my breakdown on that video, the link is below. But these women choose this type, from famous women to average women like Desiree. It's very sad, but they're the ones making the choices. They'll deal with these pookies for attention, do everything for them, give them kids and all, but then get in the dating market talking about they need a man with six figures. Young ladies, the lesson of the day, don't be like Desiree. She was moving in the right direction, had a clean record, and ruined all of that for attention from pookies. It is nothing cute about having these type of guys in your life. And if you think it's cute, 
and you're sabotaging yourself like this, you need to get some counseling and figure out what's wrong with you because this isn't normal. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this. Special thanks to Jason P. I appreciate you, Jason, for all of your support, as well as Dark Power, Felix, and big shout out to my sister, Tiffany. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.